Hello everyone, welcome back to Porky's Collectibles. Today we have another great video for you. Today we're going to be opening up the latest set, Fusion Strike. Now, uh, there are some notable cards to pull from this set. Uh, mainly the Espeon VMAX, which was, should have been in Evolving Skies, but they put it in this set. As well as the Gengar VMAX, which I really want to pull. Um, Celebi V, Alternate Art, and then there's some other uh, Mew cards as well that are really cool from this set. So we'll see what we can do, but let's see if we can pull the SP on VMAX. And um, I haven't had very good luck with the Evolving Skies, but I will be opening more Evolving Skies in later videos. And if you like our videos, please like and subscribe to our channel. And of course, uh, follow us on Instagram at Porky's Collectibles and check out our, our eBay and uh, other YouTube videos as well. Okay, so today we're gonna be opening up this box right here. I'll show you the box. So Mew on the front, Genesect on the side. There you go. And Gengar VMAX on top. I'm gonna go ahead and break the seal. Sorry, it's a little bit messy right now. Okay. All right. So what card are you guys trying to pull from this set? I know this isn't the most exciting set to pull cards from, but there are still some very exciting cards to pull from this set. Okay, open that up. Slip this back there. Right. So, take these out. 36 packs as usual. I got these at a pretty decent price, so I bought a case of these. All right, I'm gonna mix it up a little bit just to make it more interesting and damage all the cards while doing this, but that's half the fun, knowing that the one card, good card you want to pull has issues on it. But there we go. Let's mix it up more. So it looks like the pack card is going to be Mew, going to be Genesec, um, Bolton? Bolton? I don't, I don't remember what... He's from the newer Sword and Shield. I don't really... Like I said, I don't know anything really past... Gen 3, so don't hit me for it. All right, we'll put this in the back over here. Anything we'll pull, we'll put over there. We'll start off, let's start off with Mew. Let's see where we can get it. All right. You guys think this is a good set to invest in? Um, I mean, I might end up just buying singles from this one just because they're only certain cards I really want, unlike uh, Evolving Skies. This is gonna be the largest set with the most amount of cards from this set, so Actually, pulling all the cards by buying packs is probably not a good idea. Interesting. So, um, I don't want to show it, but it looks like these are the new code cards. I think they um, changed up the online TCG game. So, this is what it looks like now. So, I don't know. I don't play the online game. So, just heads up on that if you do. Okay, there's a code card. I believe it's going to be four from the back, just like every other set. Okay, let's start with Lightning Energy. We're gonna have an Elephant. We got a Laughing Monkey. We got a Metapod Gen 1. Um, Toxel. Melton. Another Toxel. I see something in the back. Oops. Two Toxels, which is very interesting. Staryu. Mawile. Sizzlepeed. And let's see what we get for our first hit. We have a Shauna. Rainbow Rare. This is probably one of the Rainbow Rares you want to pull. Shauna is a uh, really nice card to pull as well. Uh, centering does look off. It is a little bit more uh, heavy on the left side, on this side here. The back doesn't look too bad. It's a little bit um, top and right heavy. But overall, this is a beautiful card. And uh, what a way to start off our first uh, box. Probably one of the best cards you can pull. I'll put this in the background over here. Okay. I like to sleeve my uh, reverses as well because uh, I do like to collect master sets. And if you don't sleeve it now and you just leave it and they move around constantly, eventually you'll get damaged. Okay, so that's one card down. Um, it's kind of hard to top that. So hopefully we get an alt art. Let's see what we can get. Do you think uh, art, art, oh, alt arts are a little bit overrated? I don't think so. I think they're, it's fun. I like having cards that are different than just having the Pokemon on it. So, okay, sorry. Not, uh, I believe it's backwards so you don't look at the code card. 
trying to make it different. Upside down. There you go. There's the code card. Four from the back. Go one, two, three, four. All right. Here we go. Another lightning energy. Go through this faster. Lunoon, Stantler, Gleiser, Mudkip, Sand Shroop, Gen 1. Yes. Uh, not going to pronounce it. Looks like an imp. Looks like a bug. Looks like a panda. And then we got a holographic Steelix as our second pull. This is also a nice card as well. Steelix is one of my favorite steel type Pokemons. Evolved from Onyx. Put the reverse over there. Pass away. And then we'll move on to the next pack. Alright, sorry. It's a little bit interesting for me. I'm trying to organize a little bit better so I can go by faster. Alright, next pack. Doing this in no particular order. I know people like to open their packs by ripping it open, but I like cutting it so then it's a little bit more um, neat. Of course, if you don't cut it correctly, it's hard to open. Looks like this is going to be your new white and green card. So I guess the full green card, which we'll see eventually, will have the ones that are non-hollow. Okay, there you go. There's the code card. Um, set the code card aside right there. One, two, three, four. All right, here we go. We got Fighting Energy, Ground Energy, whatever you want to call it. Farewell Bell. We got uh, Simiseer, which is a very interesting artwork. It looks kind of trippy, psychedelic. A Stantler, a Meowth. An Onyx. Chittle. Shroomish. I'll probably pronounce that wrong. Klefki. Azumarill is the reverse. And a non-holographic Cloyster. Azumarill I will take. Obviously, you're buying a booster box. You're not going to get all the hits but then at the same time you will do you are guaranteeing certain amount of hits so all i'm hoping for is i did pull a rainbow rare um one alt art a couple of v maxes and a couple of v's is what you're looking for when you're trying to open a booster box um there are sometimes when you get really bad pull odds there are ones where you get no alt art no rainbow rare and you get just v max and that's what we don't want so let's hope that's um the pull rates for uh, Fusion Strike are better than certain sets, better than Battle Style. I think Battle Style is one of the worst ones. There's a code card. One, two, three, four. Okay, Dark Energy is the first card. Move this to the side. Okay, we got Cook, Macargo. What does Cook even do? Heal 70 damage from your active Pokemon. All right, that's interesting. Macargo looks like a charging bug, looks like a sheep, looks like a little tiny. Um, you know, bear, panda bear, I don't, I'm going to say it, Ndidi, Growlithe, there you go, Phantom, and a holographic Dragon Bolt. There you go. That's a nice new card for us to pull. There are going to be so, uh, so many different cards to pull from this set that I find it very hard to pull the same card twice, even for commons and uncommons. But we will see um, as we open more packs, and then um, as we open more booster boxes, We'll find out how often it is for us to get repeats. All right, my biggest fear is to get repeats on on ultra rares that I've already pulled. So let's hope we don't do that when we open other boxes as well. I'll open a little bit back so it's easier to open. Okay, there we go. Here is the code card. Toss to the side. Pull from the back. Fire. Leaf. Way off. All right. Leaf, Quick Ball, uh, Fish, Another Elephant, Bug, Skarmory, Jinx, Mantine, Another Bug. This looks like uh, one of those yarn animations. The Noon's Reverse, and a Zoomerill Non-Holographic Rare. Okay, moving on to the next card, or next pack. Okay, we've got another Mew artwork. I've cut the card before, so you gotta make sure to be careful when you do this. Um, I will be doing a new series as well, um, coming up later, where I do um, how much it costs to get a master set or a complete set for uh, different Pokemon sets, and how much it will cost you. So I will start with base set, and I'll tally up how much it costs for each box. I'm not your box, sorry, each set, and then tell you how much you, it would, I'm repeating myself. But pretty much each set, I'm gonna tell you how much it costs for a near mech set. 
Um, obviously, some will be cheaper, like Unlimited Jungle versus Sky Ridge. But I think that'd be pretty cool to do videos on that and see how much it is if you guys are into collecting Pokemon and you have yet to finish all your sets. I have not actually finished all my sets as well. So it'd be a very interesting um, journey for all of us to figure that out as well. Especially right now that some of the Wizard of Coast, uh, Coast prices have gone down. There's a code card. Four from the back. I might have saw something earlier. Let's see what we get from this one. Okay, Lightning Energy, Quick Ball, another fish, another elephant, Snubble. That's, I like Snubble. That's a pretty cool card. Geodude, Centipede, Keychain, Pansage, um, Gorbis, and I guess I was wrong. This is going to be a non-holographic clay doll. All right. Yeah, so um, when we're talking about the sets, like I said, I'm going to do a base set first. So how much the Charizard, how much the Caterpie will cost, and we'll tally it all up at the very end so you guys have an idea. Obviously, I'm talking about clip and complete sets. It won't be cheap, but as a Pokemon collector, that's one of those things you want to do. I learned from my mistake right there. Now it's not upside down. There is the code card from the back have you guys had fun opening this set um let's see uh there you go dark energy sydney cross switcher crocodile another bug ratoon smeargle oh that's pretty cool with the different colors and the sparkling like that that's cool carvana clamp pearl judge and a non-holographic arcanine Okay, put this over here next it's it's always very exciting to open um, new sets or just opening packs in general especially now that prices have gone down you're looking about um, anywhere between 110 to 130 for a booster box which is definitely a big change um, the cheapest I ever bought was probably around 2015 2016 where boxes where you could probably get for like $80 to $85 a box all right there's the Code card, okay. One, two, three, four. We've opened quite a couple packs. I haven't pulled anything. Maybe this one. Fire Energy, we got a Frost Moth, a nice uh, Simiseer, a Farewell Bell, a Meowth, a Meryl, uh, yeah, I'm gonna pronounce that. A really uh, fluffy Wulu, Flower, Luxury's Reverse, and a Palo Sand, which is the non hard non-holographic rare okay it just means all the nice cards are going to be towards the end which should be more exciting all right let's go open up one of these and then um i will be opening more of the first edition for uh fossil booster box and um we'll see what i uh, get from those packs and i'm thinking about maybe selling art sets um light pack art sets which um, I'm not quite sure what the pricing is going to be for those right now, but uh, look forward to that as well. There is the code card. Let me silence my phone. It's actually making noise. Okay, four from the back. One, two, three, four. Leaf Energy is the first card. Diggers B is going to be the next card. Sydney again, Cross Switcher. Uh, Drill Burr, another Bunny. Morpico, EV, Shelter. Um, Mar Mar Maractus, interesting, and a Bolton V. Oh, so I was, I was close. So that's going to be our first V card, which um, not bad for a V card. I like electric cards. We'll sleeve this one up. We'll put this one on the side here. Okay. Yeah, if you have not watched the video of me opening up those first edition fossil packs, make sure to check that out. Um, it was very exciting opening that, so can't wait to open more. Okay, if I learn my lesson, upside down? No, not upside down. There we go. There's a code card. Four from the back. One, two, three, four. Toss the pack down here. Okay, first psychic energy. Double is going to be our first time pulling that card. Frostmoth, Lunoon, Eskiti, one of my favorite uh, cards. Kind of reminds me of Porky. Phalanx, Chittle, Volibee, Dupter, 
Spider Skaters Park, and a non holographic clay doll again. All right. Gengar. Let's hope for the Gengar in this pack. Okay. Let's open the back a little bit, make it easier for me to take out. Okay. What's that? Straight like this. Code card. One, two, three, four. Metal Energy is going to be our first card. Uh, Ex Excadrill, Double, Spongy Gloves, Morpico, Skarmory, Shelmet, Plusle, Muna, a reverse, holo uh, reverse Holographic Rare, the Elephant, and oh, Holographic Starmie. It's the first time I've seen Holographic Starmie in a very long time. I think my favorite Starmie has to be from the Sky Ridge one. That Holographic Starmie is pretty cool. I'll put this down here since it's just a holographic. All right, Genesec, let's see what you can get for us. Okay, well, let's do a little more than that. Oh, these packs are hard to open sometimes. Okay, there is the code card. Four from the back, one, two, three, four. Fire Energy, Heatmore, Cook, Morgrim, Toxel, Staryu for the Starmie, Mawile, Makuhita, Pampor, Plusso, and another Palo uh, San Nono Holographic Rare. I'm only going to worry about it when there's like three packs left and that's all I pulled. But for right now, I'm actually happy that I'm not pulling anything because I won't save it towards the end. Make it a little bit more interesting. Okay. Open this up. Here is a code card for people that want to play online. Okay, water energy. That might be the first water energy. Battle VIP pass. First time pulling that. Graveler, first time pulling that. Uh, Mushrana, Mushrana is first time pulling that. Jobber, Shinx, Bunnery. Fish, first time pulling that. I already pulled a bunch of these. Hold on, holographic, I mean, reverse. And then we got a uh, for alligator holographic. That's the first time pulling this. Another starter Pokemon. I can't remember if this is Gen 1 or Gen 2. Total Dow's Gen. Gen 1? No, no, not Gen 1, sorry. I mean, Gen 2? I think it's Gen 2. Could be wrong. Yeah, I think it is. Torchic, um, Mudkip, and. Trico, I think, was Gen 3. You know, if you don't play the game, sometimes you uh, don't really know or forget. And it's been a long time since I played the game. I don't really play Sword and Shield that much. I need, I still need to beat that game. There is the code card. One, two, three, four. Let's, oops, sorry, let me move that pack away. Dark Energy. Uh, cross receiver, first time pulling that. Simmons Sage is the first time pulling that. Home just Sydney's already. Jeffy's first time for this one. We already pulled this one as well. Rookie is the first time pulling that one. We already pulled this one. Uh, Sizzlepede, Jinx is reverse, and we got a Apple Turn V. This is a, this is an interesting card. I mean, I don't think I want my Pokemon smelling an apple pie. Might get a little weird. Would I have to eat him if I ever starve? I don't know. I, they should never have made that Pokemon. I think that's kind of weird. Okay. But then again, how many uh, new Pokemon can they think of before it gets weird? All right, here we go. Here's the code card. One, two, three, four. Leaf Energy is the first card. Gliscor, Glide. Glyscore, sorry. Uh, Senna Scorch, Bug Catcher, back to the OG. Remember Viridian Forest, was, they want to wreck you with their Caterpies and Metapods. That was very interesting. Weedles as well. Trubbish, Total Dial, Phantom, Snorlax, the first time pulling that. You know Snorlax is cool. Always sleeping off when he eats. Very interesting, almost real life Snom. Caterpie is reverse, and we got a Gengar V. That's probably the best V we pulled so far. Looks like he's using Shadow Ball right there. 
Okay, uh, that trumps you guys, so that's replacing it. Okay. All right. Hope you guys are enjoying this video. If you guys want me to open more of these or switch it up to more Evolving Skies or notice that, let me know down below in comments. Or uh, just in general, if you guys want me to open more vintage packs as well. I do have more Japanese vintage packs as well if you guys are into that. Okay. There is the code card. All right, four from the back. One, two, three, four. Okay, fighting energy, ground energy, whatever you want to call it. Adventurous discovery. Schoolgirl, Luxio, Meryl, Wudu, Hello, Hello, but oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, yeah. Mudkip, that's a different kind of art from my kid. Looks like they're doing two different art types. Uh, Grim Snarl is going to be the reverse uh, holographic rare, and we got a non holographic oyster. Okay. We're what, about halfway there? Okay. Just flying everywhere with these. Okay, cut it open, open the back. Just a little more. Okay. There's the code card. One, two, three, four. I wonder what the pull rates are from this set. Hopefully they're decent. Let's see. Uh, Leaf Energy, Cross Receiver, Sigma Sage, another Sydney. Uh, Clobberbus, I think that's the first time we pulled that. Tynamo is the first time pulling that. Zora is the first time pulling that. Shelter, I think I already pulled. Caterpie, we pulled. Uh, Mel Met Metal. Mel Metal? Uh, okay. That's got to be the not, uh, reverse holographic uh, rare. And then we got a Gudra, which is the first time pulling that, which is a non holographic rare. Okay. That side. Okay, next pack. Still trying to pull that Charizard from um, Celebrations as well. I haven't opened up any more um, packs from it, but everyone makes it look so easy to pull. There is the code card. One, two, three, four. Meta Energy is the first card. We might have something in the back, so let me make that look a little bit neater. Judge, Extra Drill, Trevent, Tre Tre Trevenant, sorry, Phalanx, more Pico, Dark More Pico, another Smeargle, Quillfish, Dynamo, Play Doll is a reverse, uh, rare, and a Mu V. All right, this is pretty cool. Oh, another uh, card that I want to pull from this is going to be the Mew Full Arts. That one looks pretty cool as well. But I will take the Mew V. So far, so good. We, we uh, replace Appleton. Okay. Next card. I will say if I do pull one of the cards I really want... I probably won't go super crazy about it just because I'm not the type to make a big fuss about it, unfortunately. But that makes it more genuine. Uh, genuine. There you go. There's the code card. But maybe I'll go crazy because I've never pulled the actual chase card from a set. I think the last time I actually pulled one was the Secret Rare Alkazam from, uh, I don't remember. It was like from 20, 2016. It was a long time ago. Okay, um, Electric Energy, Skaters Park. Low Bunny, Marsh Top, probably first time pulling that. Trubbish, that's a pretty cool one. He's actually in trash. There's a Pokeball in the trash can, too. Throw their Pokemon away. Totodile, Phantom, Snorlax, Snom, Swaddle, and a non holographic Aquanid. Aquanid? Aquanid. All right. Stay in school, kids. Uh, it's important. All right, here we go. Next pack. Okay, here we go, here we go. Here's the code card. One, two, three, four. There you go, four. Unless I messed that up. Nope. Fighting Energy, Pangoro, Octopus, Bunny that likes to dig. Looks like he's chilling out in the rain. Looks like he ate his own leaf. A Skarmory, a Jinx looking for a hug, 
uh, Mantine, Sizzlepede, and a non holographic Latios. Well, Lati Dati Da. All right. Ooh, my back's killing me. All right, all right, Bolton, give us something good. We're starting to get low on packs here. There's a code card. One, two, three, four. Psychic Energy, Heatmore, Cook, Mor Morgan, uh, Mor Morgrim, sorry. Mankey, Grokunk, Panseer, that's probably the first time I pulled that one. I don't remember pulling that one. Gumi as well. This fish as well. Schoolboy is the first time pulling that one. Also for this flying bird that's sparkling is the first time pulling that as well. We are down to what is it? Seven on this side. Down to fifteen packs. So now we are more than halfway out. Okay. Oh, this one open easily. Sorry, touch the camera right there. There is the code card. One, two, three, four. Fire energy is the first card. Dancer, first time pulling that card. Another Pangoro, another Octopus, another Fish, another Geodude, another Centipede, another Shinx, Shelmet, and the, this card, you know what, I'm gonna, let's call him something. Um, Praise the sun. We're going to praise the sun every time he does this. And then we got a Gengar VMAX. This is a pretty cool card. I wish this was the alt art one. But, you know, I can't complain. This one's a very nice VMAX. Probably one of the VMAXs that I want to pull. So this probably trumps everything except for the Shauna right now. Let's see. The centering looks decent on the front. The back looks a little bit shifted to the left. Okay. So that... Gets to replace Gengar V right there. Ooh, nice. So, so far this box has been pretty good. Uh, I approve the cards I've gotten. There are obviously other Pokemon to pull, like a Genesect. But I've never been a big fan of Genesect. Always been, you know, OG Pokemon, original 151. And so, pulling these Gengars, I can pull Gengars all day. It's one of my favorite Pokemon. Alright, here we go. There is the code card. One, two, three, four. Metal Energy is the first card. Battle VIP Pass, Graveler, M Mashurana, Mashurana, Stuffle. First time pulling that one. I like that artwork. That's pretty cute. Okay, Sandy Ga Gast, Geist, Gast. Plusle doing his electric dance. Volpix, first time pulling this one as well. Melton. Uh, Clef Key, and then we got a non holographic Vika Volt. It's gonna be our rare Vika Volt. Vika Volt. All right, looks like this says all nothing about psychic and bugs. Okay, oh, there we go. I think that's good enough to open up. There is the code card four from the back one, two, three, four. Fire, water, cook, macargo, another charging bug, ratoon, smeargle, carvana, clamp, pearl, morpico, panseer is the reverse, and then a non holographic cactus is gonna be our rare. All right. We still have more packs to go. Uh, so far, the pull rate hasn't been too bad. We still need an alt art and maybe a secret rare. Am I asking for too much? Maybe I am asking for too much. Here you go. Here's the code card. Pour from the back. Get a little bit better at this. Psychic Energy. First time pulling this one as well. Looks like an Electric Eel. Dunsparce, everyone's favorite Pokemon. Dancer. Melton again. Toxo again. Staryu again. Mawal again. Makahita again. Another octopus again, and then a tox, uh, toxtricity, toxtricity, toxtricity. Yeah, that's hard for me to pronounce right now. But this is the first time pulling this one. This is going to be a holographic rare. There you go. We'll put him down with our other holographic rares. 
All right, we're getting closer and closer towards the end, and who knows? Maybe our last pack will be magic. Okay, go open this one up. I like opening on booster boxes because you're guaranteed a certain amount of pull, but you always want to try to buy loose packs just to see if you can pull the best card out of just paying like four bucks. And you know, running, see, it's like it's gambling. And um, actually, I just bought some packs or loose evolving sky packs and I gifted it. Well, I, went, I didn't gift it, I, um, I sold it to my sister because she wouldn't let me give it to her. And um, she pulled the Umbreon V Alt Art, which I've been trying to get for ever and she pulled it out of her like third pack which is insane to me how people do that all right water energy crocodile extra drill spongy gloves voltor probably first time pulling this i like this how they're doing these artworks i think it has to do something with the smear goal um i think these are pretty cool it kind of reminds me of the screen promos uh panseer cufant gliger uh slugma looking towards the sky first time pulling this fat little thing and then a luxury non holographic But yeah, she, uh, she rubbed in my face pretty hard. But you know, that's just my luck. I knew I wasn't going to keep those packs, and um, it happens. Maybe I'll be lucky enough to pull that uh, Umbreon VMAX, you know, in one of these packs one of these days. One can only dream. All right, here we go. There is the code card. One, two, three, four. Fire Energy. Looks like another Adventurer's Discovery, Schoolgirl, Luxio. We got a Galarian Meowth, I think for the first time pulling this one. Another Flower, a Pampor, an Eevee, a Shinx. Looks like a Garbodor, is it probably the first time pulling the Reverse Holographic. And they got a Mel Melo Melota. Uh, you get the gist of it. But uh, I can't pronounce it. All right, we're running low on cards here. I think we're final nine packs to go. All right, let's open this up. Of these nine, five of them better be ultra rares. Nah, that's asking too much. Just, just three. There you go. There's the code card. One, two, three, four. Psychic energy is the first card. That's the first time pulling this. Is the turtle nader, or he's gonna no. Um, I don't think I'm going to say Arnold, but, you know, or Governator. That's a that's a long name to pronounce, but I like the artwork. It's a nice artwork. Schoolgirl, Baltoy, Galarian Corsola, Quillfish, Volpix, Chansey. First time pulling Chansey. This is pretty cool. I hope I get a reverse holographic for this. Wulu is going to be our reverse, and then a Blissey non-holographic rare. All right. And then there was eight. Maybe number eight and number seven will be lucky packs. Eight is lucky in Chinese. Seven is lucky for us in the US. Okay, there is the code card. One, two, three, four. Psychic energy is our first card. Judge is gonna be our next card. Zach Excadrill, sorry. Trevenant, Skarmory, Shelmets, Plusle, Muna, Meow, Ladios Reverse, which is actually pretty cool, and Ladios Non Holographic Rare. All right. Next one, next one. Okay, now I'm getting a little worried. Come on, it should be pretty soon. I think it might be this pack. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four. I believe it's this pack. I believe in it. All right, Metal Energy. Fusion Strike Energy, first time pulling that one, I believe. Another Turtle, another one of these. Dreppy, Makuhita, Rookity, one of these snow thingies, Sizzlepeed, that's the first time pulling it in uh, reverse holographic rare golem and uh, a Verizon. Uh, I don't need to update my my cell phone carrier here, but 
That's the first time pulling that card as well. We have, let's see, three more. This is six more altogether. I'm cutting these pretty crookedly. All right, let's hope I didn't do anything weird. There is the code card again. One, two, three, four. All right, here we go. Here's gonna be Psychic Energy, the Snow Orangutan, Phalanx, Simi Sage, Eevee, Sh Angry Shelter, very emo looking Voltorb, Anime Pan Sage, uh, Elephant looks like lifting a rock, uh, Halucha is gonna be a reverse, I believe rare, and a non holographic, uh, a solid, a Seligor, a Seligor. All right, don't do me dirty like this. All right, five packs left to go. At least we pulled a rainbow rare, I believe. I mean, I guess. But just like that Cheryl I pulled from Battle Styles, I believe. So here is a code card. One, two, three, four. All right, here we go. Dark Energy, uh, Centipede. Bug Catcher, Energy, Onyx, Jigglypuff. Uh, did I already pull a Jigglypuff? I don't know. This is a cool Jigglypuff. I like this Jigglypuff. First time pulling a Durant. Uh, Pansage, Pansir, sorry, Pansage is the leaf one. Minum, again, a reverse holographic uh, Zerudi, Zerud, Zerud. And then a uh, Grimmsnarl holographic. So, so far we have pulled six holographics. One V Max, three Vs, and one Rainbow Rare. These all better be hits at this point. Otherwise, this is probably the worst box I've pulled in a while. I think I've pulled a box where I didn't get an alt art, but it'd be very disappointing. All right, here we go. This is the code card. I think this is for, uh, well, I gotta do the card trick first. One, two, three, four. Leaf Energy is the first card. It looks like there's something in the back, so let's try to be more careful. Metapod. Persian is going to be first time pulling this. Power Tablets is the first time pulling this. This is a very interesting Sandshrew. This is the first time pulling this. I like this card. There you go. Go buy this card. Don't buy this card. Hufant. Um, Imp scaring a Substitute Doll. Snom. Onyx. Elsa's Sparkle. And here we go. What is it going to be? What is it going to be? It is a Carbominable, Carbominable V. This is gonna be the full art. Um, I didn't even know this was an option, but um, I guess, probably not the best full art. I mean, can I have the Mew? Uh, all right, three, three packs, four packs, three packs left to go. All right, now all I can hope for is an alt art. It would make all the difference if I can get the Gengar or the Espeon. If I can get one of those, this is the best booster box ever. I'm never going to open up any more booster box in my life, which is a lie. Oops. Oh, gosh, I keep hitting the camera right there. There you go. There's the code card. One, two, three, four. Okay, Fighting Energy is the first card. Chili and... Scion and Cress. That's too much to say. All right. Anyway, Elephant. Zorok is the first one. There is something in the back. First time pulling this card, anyways. Galarian Zigzagoon. Um, everyone's favorite Zigzagoon. <laughs> Mankey. Uh, Clauncher. Like a claw launcher. Ralph. Snuff. Stuffle. All right. Pancham. What is it going to be? What is it going to be? What is it going to be? Mew V, one of the cards that actually I wanted to pull. So this is pulling two full arts is it's is great. I got that one, but this is the one I wanted to pull for the full art, and um, that is an all art, and this is definitely a beautiful card to pull. So I'm very happy about this pull. Now, if one of these can be an alt art, we will complete our first box, and we can call it a day. But let's see if I uh, got lucky and managed to put the best card towards the last two packs. 
I've done that before, so we'll find out. But there is no guarantee that there would be an alt art in here. I, I, I want to know what's the odds from opening booster boxes, but it's got to be like one out of every two booster boxes, you get at least one alt art. So then again, I don't think there's that many alt arts compared to Evolving Skies in this set. There is the code card. One, two, three, four. Come on, come on. Electric Energy, Metapod, another Persian, Power Tablet, Shelmet, uh, Drillbur, Bunner, Bunnersby, Caterpie, Morpico, Slugma, and a Holographic Mel Metal. All right, finally our last pack. What are the odds that I will actually pull something from this last pack? I can't be disappointed. I got the Mew V, got the Shauna Rainbow Rare. So no matter what this is, I can't be mad. It's been fun opening this box, but let's try to end this with a bang. At least a V card, please not a green card. Well, we won't know. We're gonna open it up and find out here. All right, here we go. There's the code card. All right, four from the back. One, two, three, four. Please, please be decent to end the video here. Fire energy, we're gonna pull fire on this one. All right, school girl. Three brothers, just three brothers. Zorok, Stuffle. I don't think we pulled anything for this one. Doesn't look like that one. Standing guys, I shouldn't have done that. Plus, oh. Vulpix, Melton, Cook, and then we finish up on a non-holographic Absol. So hopefully you enjoyed our video. This is our first time opening uh, Fusion Strikes. Hopefully you guys had really good pulls. Hope the best for you guys to pull either the Espeon VMAX or the Gengar VMAX. And um, hope you uh, sub like and subscribe to our channel and look forward to more videos on the way. Thank you very much and see you guys all next time.